Hey, this is Chris with the Affiliate Tuber, and today I want to do a new review for you on a product called Digi Product Lab. And when I first got access to this product, I was thinking that it's going to be uh, like a lot of these in the past I've seen, which are really basic. But I'm telling you, this product here, it has a lot of features and a lot of options for you to create your own ebook from multiple resources to creating an e-cover and even setting up landing pages for it for opt-ins. Um, creating licenses for it for like PLR resale license there's just all kinds of stuff you can do with this so what I'm going to do is kind of take you through here and I'm not going to show you the entire product of how everything works because if it did this video would be well over an hour long but if you get access to this product you can come down to the training and there's some really good videos in here that's going to explain everything step by step how to do it so with that said and right before I get into this I do have some links directly under this video in the description box. Some of them are resource links, things that you may find of value. And there's also, also going to be a link to my website where you can get more details about this product, such as the pricing, the bonuses, the upsells. Um, and the bonuses that I'm going to be offering are going to be exclusive. You're not going to find them nowhere else. So if you're uh, thinking about picking up Digi Product Lab, be sure to check out my website first before you get it so you can get those bonuses. Okay, so here we are in the dashboard, and you can see right up front it gives you a breakdown of how many ebooks you've created, how many landing pages, e covers, and licenses that you've created. So, the first thing you're going to do, what I'm going to do is go over here to e cover creator, and I'm briefly going to show you how this works. You can see there's quite a few of them made here, but all you have to do, if you already have one made, you can download it right here in JPEG or PING format, and you can preview it, or you can continue to edit it or view it in 3D. But what you want to do is come over here and click on create e cover and let's just do a flat cover and there's going to give you uh, templates for each one of these options that you choose so let's just do this one and once you choose one just click create oh we got to give it a name we'll just do test click create and give it just a minute and it's going to load up oh, I've already used that name okay let's try it again we'll go back here and let's just pick this one and let's do test 501 I don't think I used that one yet. Okay, so here we go. This is the actual template editor. And within here, you can click on the text and you can change it. You can change the background. You can change the colors. Um, you can change the fonts, the opacity, all this stuff. You can come up here and you can view the general settings, the layers, or you can remove all these if you want. You can change the background by going and searching on Pixabay. There's background templates you can use. It's already built in here. So if you choose, for example, City Lights, you can pick one of these and add it. You can search pick, Pixabay, search Flickr, uh, Flickr, and it will automatically import those and add it to your background. And then you can come in, you can add your own images if you want. You can delete these images. You can pretty much do anything you want uh, within this to make it exactly how you want it. And then when you're done, you just save it and close it. So let's go ahead and close out of this. That is the eCover Designer. It's a very well-made uh, designing tool actually much better than I thought it was going to be and the next is create your ebook now before you create your ebook what you probably want to do is come down to the license generator because this is where you want to create a license for your books and what I mean by license if you come down here to license type it's going to say what kind of license do you want to create personal use resale rights master resale rights um, so basically you're going to choose one of these and then you're going to tell it what what they can and cannot do with this book for example uh, they can't it, they can sell it on forums or they can uh, have resale rights to it or they can edit it uh, but if you don't want those just leave all these unchecked fill out everything scroll down here um, save it and then that's going to create like a certificate that it's going to be added to the, to the ebook when you create it so once you have that done you're going to come up and click create your ebook and this is where it gets really good because here you can create your ebook from all these different sources up here at the top. Even by adding just a URL in here, it will extract the data from that page and create a book. You can also create one manually or you can create one from articles. And this one's really good here. In fact, if you happen to buy this product through my website, um, you're, you're going to get hundreds of thousands of PLR articles that you can use to create ebooks with. You're going to get that as a bonus if you buy it from my website. Um, so basically what you would do, if you want to use their own PLR, you can do that by leaving this selected, enter a keyword, and then just say how many articles you want to collect. So for example, if we do affiliate marketing, 
I don't know how many PLR articles they have in their system, uh, but I know from the recent searches that I've done, it hasn't been completely accurate with what I was wanting to find in articles. So that's one reason why I was gonna throw in my bonus of all the extra articles so you can get that. So for example, you can see here affiliate marketing brought up you know, where to get a free iPod. So it doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but you can go through here and you can uh, find out the articles that do match like this one. And you wanna come over here and tick the boxes. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna add these to your ebook and make it part of the book and to create it. And then what you do, let's just, um, we'll just go ahead and, let's see, let's see if there's any more of them in here. Uh, okay, we'll just do this one too. Then we'll come over here and click create. Okay, so from here, I'm not gonna fill in all this information. It's just gonna take too much time to do. But we can title it here and we can choose the font, the type of page numbering, the format, the header settings, alignment, footer settings, title settings, subheadings. And so we have all these options here. And then down here at the bottom, we have also the chapter. So these were the four articles that we selected and we can move them up or down depending on where we want them in the book. And after we're done with that, we can save the order. And then once that's saved and we are ready to move on, we can come up here and click uh, save changes. So right here, you can see this is like a summary right here. You can add a description you can add. And if we go over here to generate ebook, we can just wait just a couple minutes and it's going to go ahead and generate that for us. Okay, then once you're done and you've created your ebook, you want to come over here to my library where you can see all the books that you've created. And you can come over here to the right hand side and you can download them as a PDF, HTML, as a Word document. But what you want to do is come over here under action where you can preview the book, you can also edit it, and you can manage landing pages. So what you want to do is click on manage landing pages and then you want to click add new landing page and so what this is going to do is create an opt-in page for your book so you can start really collecting a lot of email addresses so you want to give it a title you're going to put download type we'll say PDF and then here it's going to ask for that license file that you created at the beginning so you're going to choose this and apparently I didn't save it because it's not showing up here but when you save it it's going to be in this drop down and you just want to select that as your license file to use for this book now down here there's squeeze page content now you can create your own but what I recommend you do is click on load product sales template and when you do there's all different kinds of templates that you can use here for opt-ins and so let's just do for example uh, this one here we'll just click it and you can see it's added in here and it looks very, very nice. And of course you can edit this, you can take this text out, you can change it. Uh, it's just like a little editor here like you'd see in WordPress. And then down here is where your form's gonna be. So what you wanna do is go up here to settings and right here, this is your autoresponder form code. So whatever autoresponder service you use, they're gonna give you a code for your form and you wanna add that right here. And then once that's done, you're going to get a link for your page and then you can share this page for them to build your opt-in list to get that book. So it all ties in very well together, super easy to use. And then also there's the download page content here, which is just like a generic thank you page. It's already set up. You don't have to do anything for it. So basically what they do is once they opt into your form, it automatically takes them here so they can download the book. Now there's other options here. I'm not going to go through all of this stuff because the video is already about nine minutes long. Um, but there's done for you packages, there's bonus builders you can use to add bonuses. Uh, you can add your bonuses here. Like I said, this is the training area where there's a lot of great videos. So if you click on this, these are very in-depth videos that shows you step-by-step -step how to do everything in here and how to use everything. Here's the help section, here's with the traffic upgrade and where you can upgrade your membership or the unlimited version. So with that said, that is my review of Digi Product Lab. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember to check out those links underneath this video and visit my website before you buy this product so you can pick up those other amazing bonuses and find out more details about the pricing and the upsells that's involved with Digi Product Lab.